Culture Club getting back together after all these years, how does that feel to you? It's got to be, uh, obviously, a lot of people are excited about it. Somewhat emotional for you, I would think. There's got to be baggage there. Not now. Right. You know what I mean? You have to kind of, you can only deal with what's going on now. We've all grown up a lot. You know, everybody's kind of, everybody really wants to do it. Yeah. But the thing about bands, it's, you know, bands are like, you know that saying, you know, you can't choose your family, you can choose your friends. Well, the band's like a family you, you don't choose. Mm -hmm. They happen, they sort of become part of your life, and there's just no getting rid of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to them. Absolutely. Uh, I love those fools. Um, <laughs> you know what? I remember very clearly when Culture Club hit in the United States, and you guys were such a sensation. And the music was great, but there was also this style, this sense of style that you had that seemed to come completely out of left field <laughs> and still have. Yeah, still have. <laughs> and that's what people talk about as much as anything else. Yeah. I was going to look back, and you've kept it up over the years. You keep transforming your style. We go back to the classic. There's the classic Boy George look. <laughs> Guessing mid-80s. Then we move on to this look right here. Fantastic. That was my Gone with the Wind that was your phase. Gone, that was your yeah. Gone with the Wind Scarlet yeah. O'Hara phase. Absolutely. Moving on, tell us about this phase here. That was actually, I wore that in Japan to freak the band out. Basically, I just turned up on stage in a wedding dress. Right. And they, they were literally like gobsmacked. They yeah. Like, what are you doing? I was like, getting married to the world. <laughs> <laughs> And then, I love, this is a solo look that you had. Yeah, what is going on here? Everything. Everything right? all at once. It's like everything and the kitchen sink, right? Yes. Just let's get it all on. Yeah. You know. It's like you, you, like you stood under a, a, no, a chocolate nozzle. I was actually, <laughs> I was actually playing a, a character called Lee Bowery in a musical called Taboo that ran yes. for a while on Broadway. So that wasn't really my usual look. Right. Uh, I have had the same style since I was about 11. I have had the same exact haircut, the same, just the same, all the way. What would you tell me to do? Do you think I should stick with the same thing? I don't have your creative ability when it comes to a look. I think if you're having, which is not very often, but you're having a bad hair day, if, you know, this, I've got something here which would be great on you. Yeah, they brought this out in the commercial break and I didn't know what it was. You're saying if for some reason, first of all, I've never had a bad hair day. Okay. <laughs> that can't happen to Conan O'Brien. But if I did have a bad hair day, you're saying this is what I would wear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a kid they just made the sheriff of the town, don't I? <laughs> Come on, everybody cut it out, quit it! That's fantastic. I have such a massive, is this your? That's my hair. Well, okay, because I am way too, I have a massive, and Andy, is your head even bigger than mine? I think so, yeah. You gotta try this on, Andy. It's I have it, yeah. Let me just, yeah. Yes, please. Let me cock it for you. Hang All on. right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Let's see the slightest breeze and that blows right off. <laughs> this is the problem. Yeah, I need hats that are made for bears, not for humans. <laughs> Jack, may I? Yes, please. Oh, very nice. That's working for you, Jack. Jack owns it. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Does it come in camouflage? I can get one made for you. <laughs> Wasn't that a great clip? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for an endless supply of me. <laughs> Ugh.